it's a Christmas special episode. So we um, watched the Christmas episode from season one and it's Christmas Eve today mm -hmm. as we're recording. So before we get started, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all of that jazz, no matter how you celebrate, hope it's a good one. Absolutely. So we got the one episode that started it all. The Christmas special. This was actually before the show launched, mm -hmm. but it was coming off the heels of the Tracy Ullman show. Did you watch Tracy Ullman? I, did I know a we talked bit, about that back in the day. Not a lot. Yeah. We um, it wasn't allowed, or there was something <laughs> else on the TV at that moment, yeah. or however you want to look at it. So but no. I, I remember watching the Tracy Ullman show when The Simpsons would come on, and then I remember they were going to be doing a special like it was in the tv guy back that was before the internet you know and it was like oh that that cartoon on that's gonna be its own thing and you know back then a new cartoon special was a big deal oh, for because sure. they didn't have a million of them you know there was a few select ones so when a new one launched it was kind of cool it's mm -hmm. like oh, something new and so i i, I very vividly remember watching this when it aired and seen it a hundred times ever since and reruns and whatnot but it's fun to be able to do it here in our coming up millhouse review because it's just uh, bringing back a lot of memories for me mm -hmm. so of course the plot real simple homer doesn't get his bonus check and they have to spend all the christmas money on a tattoo removal that bart got and so homer to try to save christmas uh Goes out and tries to earn some extra money, but it doesn't work out too good for him. But that's okay because this is The Simpsons and we always have a good ending and uh, we'll get there. So uh, why don't we just go right into it? Why don't we go into our lines? What do you got? Look, a little squeak toy. It says it's for <laughs> dogs, but she can't read. <laughs> Homer was shopping at the five and five dollar or less store for Christmas presents. And um, he was looking around for something for Maggie, and he found a dog pork chop. Sweetie Ooh, pork wow, chop. it says for dogs, but she can't read. <laughs> I, I love it. That, there, that was a good scene. And then he runs into Flanders and, yep. and Rod, or one of them, Rod right. and Todd. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Simpson, you, you dropped, you dropped your, 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 your pork, pork chop. chop. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> I like it. So my first line is, Oh, please. There's only one fat man that brings us presents, and his name ain't Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> so Marge is like, come on, children, give me your lists, and I'll send them to Santa's workshop. And that was Bart's reply to that. <laughs> yep. Lisa wanted a pony again for the third year in a, a row. A pony, a pony, a pony. She wrote like five times. That's all uh -huh. she wanted. She eventually gets a pony in an episode. At we, some we point. We have talked about. Not and, necessarily for Christmas. No, but no. That comes to fruition. At some point. Alright. What about line two? What you got there? Rudolph, get your nose over <laughs> here so you can drive my sleigh tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so that's at the very end in the credits. They're singing Rudolph and Homer doesn't know the lyrics. Nope. <laughs> Rudolph, get your nose over here. <laughs> so you can drive my sleigh today or something like that. <laughs> yep. Well, that actually plays into my favorite line, and uh, second, my second favorite line, and that is Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Nixon, Comet, Cupid, Donna Dixon. <laughs> I knew you were going to go with that line because you've been saying I've Donna been Dixon saying it. around the house for uh, been... <laughs> a couple weeks, if not all month. That's just been your go-to, so yeah. not surprising. Which was a, another big reason why we went with this episode today. Because yeah. um, sometimes George just starts quoting the Simpsons. I do random and... quotes around the house. What are you going to do? Yeah. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, Homer is in school to learn how to be a Santa. And that's one of the tests or something. He has to say all the reindeer. And he's too dumb to know all the reindeer. He doesn't know the lyrics to... Uh, Rudolph either so he's not in the well, reindeers apparently so there's that he also was failing pretty hard at the <laughs> ho 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 where yeah. it was just the Santa school teaching everyone in the classroom to ho 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 correctly yeah and he, he couldn't wasn't, even do that he wasn't doing that very well <laughs> 
Oh boy, so what about scenes? What is your favorite scene? Um, there were a lot of good ones, but I have to go with they are sitting around the, the kitchen table and they're talking about getting Christmas presents and um, Homer is asking Marge for the Christmas money so they can go <laughs> out and go shopping. And Marge says, okay, close your eyes so she can get it out of her special secret hiding spot. <laughs> and there's a jar of money in her hair. <laughs> So she just splits her hair and pulls this giant jar mm -hmm. of cash out of her hair, and that's where her secret hiding spot was. And I, it just makes me <laughs> smile when I see that, because Marge, it's who funny. knows what else is hiding in Marge's hair. Yeah, it's like Mary Poppins' carpet bag right. up there, you know? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's great. So my favorite scene actually goes back to one of your favorite lines, and it's the scene where Homer goes to the Circus of Values which is the five and dime store to buy presents because they don't have any money. And he doesn't tell Marge that he didn't get the money. So he's going to try to fix it by going to this cheap store. Mm -hmm. And he's walking around like, ooh, candy hose, oh, $5. Right. And then, ooh, a ream of paper. Bart can do a lot with this. And then okay. he gets the pork chop for Maggie. And he must have got something for Lisa, but they didn't show that. Right. But just the fact that he's walking around thinking he can salvage the situation right. by buying junk with... At the, at the Circus of Values, which is what cracked me up, because <laughs> the name of that store is just silly. Uh, I picked that as my scene. And nice. then, I can, of course, run into Flanders and all uh -huh. that. Good, thing, good stuff there. All right, so it brings us to winners and losers. Who oh, do you boy. want to do first? How do you want to go? Um, let's go with your winner first. All right. Well, my winner is Flanders, because there's this scene where Homer has a bunch of lights on their house, and he's like, all right, let's turn them on. And there's like four or five lights on, on work on the string. There's all these other ones that don't work. And then they pan over, and then there's Flanders' house. And he's got, it looks like the Griswold house. Yes, there's everything. Decked out. Yeah, and so I'm like, really, not as much because Flanders had more presence in the pork chop scene, but because his house was so decked out that he, he was winning with the decorations for sure. So mm -hmm. he got my win. What do you, what'd you get for I went with Santa's Little Helper, and that was kind of an obvious winner. Mm -hmm. um, there were a couple other options I could have gone with, but Santa's Little Helper is um, at the racetrack. Oh, gosh, Benny's trying to climb Benny's on my leg. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it just startled me to have cat claws in my thigh. He's like, Santa's Little Helper, but what about me? Right. What about my... What so, about sorry, I just got startled there. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> So, at the racetrack, you know, there's other dogs that are winning um, for those folks who are there gambling. And Santa's little helper, um, his owner kicks him to the curb and he's running through the parking lot and he jumps into Homer's arms mm -hmm. and he gets to go home and live with the Simpson. So, he's a he, winner. He did. He won. Very good. Come up then. There's a little paw. It's probably off camera, but there's a little paw climbing up the front of the table. Come on. And we don't know. We don't know what he's doing. He, he's, he's just he's silly. Crazy. All right. So my loser, I'm going to go losers next, is all the kids that had to sit on Homer's lap when he was playing Santa. Because <laughs> <laughs> this kid's got a donut. He's like, kid, I didn't have any lunch. Give me a bite of that donut. And then it, there's a, a photo of it, and the kid's like, ah, and Homer's shouting the donut. donut. And then there's this girl, and she's like, oh, it's going to be okay. And he's like, thanks, I need to download my problems to you or something. Right, like that. Right. So he's, he's like got kids on his lap, and he's telling them his problems. Uh -huh. there and he there he is. And um, so I'm like, you picked the wrong Santa to visit at that mall. Unfortunately. Right. <laughs> so that was my loser. So I had written down the, the kid with the donut for my loser, <laughs> but I will go with my backup option was all the other Santas in that Santa school because they picked Homer to be the mall Santa out of all of those other home, those other Santas and Homer's eating the kid's donut and right. unloading his problems and <laughs> other people, um, I think, looked more the part when they were in the Santa And there school. can't be that many malls in the Tri-County area that they could all go to. There, there must have been competition for Homer's right. spot. So, yeah, you're right. right. They missed, so, for some reason. The other Santas. 
the other Santas missed you, out Vinny? on a job. What about you, Vincent? What was your favorite scene? Probably the scene where he was running around, like, nipping at her feet while we were trying to watch the show. He's a yeah. goof. Yep. All right, well, that is our special Christmas Eve bonus episode, the Christmas Simpsons special. We had a lot of fun watching it. Thanks mm -hmm. for tuning in. We will be coming at you at our regular time with some more episodes, but this time, instead of our Jiminy Jillickers, we are going to conclude with a more festive outing, and that is... Feliz, Feliz Navidad! Navidad! <laughs> See you later. <laughs>